the new Asus UX3407 with some impressive specs. Unfortunately, it arrived with a damaged screen, so I decided to take it apart and identify the exact screen model. Since the laptop is still quite new, the screens are hard to find and I need to be 100% sure which one to order. As always, I started from the bottom side of this laptop and carefully removed all the necessary screws. There is nothing hidden, everything was pretty straightforward. Once the bottom case piped off, I went straight for the LCD screen. I removed it from the assembly and popped out the actual LED metric. This part can be a bit tricky, so I recommend having at least some experience and the proper tools. In my case, I didn't use anything fancy, just a razor blade. I carefully disassembled it and removed the front plastic bezel. It's super delicate and tiny, so highly suggest using a fingertips to apply just the right amount of pressure while detaching it. Now here is a little no tree. On both sides of the screen there are small plastic tabs. If you pull them slowly and carefully, they help release the adhesive that holds the screen to the back cover. The first one came off smoothly, but I messed up the second one and pulled too hard. It got stuck and I ended up damaging the screen even more, but it was already broken, so not a big loss. Once I finally removed the screen, I was able to confirm the model number. It took me a few days to figure out the situation because I couldn't find any US-based vendors. I did find a few options in China, but they were asking nearly $300 just for the panel, not including the shipping, which I felt was not worth it. So I made a call to part it out the laptop and keep the components for the future use. Removing the battery was simple, just few screws. The RAM and Wi-Fi card are soldered to the motherboard so they can't be upgraded or replaced. The SSD came out easily with a one screw. Next, I removed the cooling fans and a heatsink. If you are cleaning or replacing your heatsink, always remember to reapply thermal paste. After that, I disconnected all ribbon cables and removed the motherboard. On the right side of the laptop, there is a data board with external ports. If any of them fail, it's an easy replacement. To be honest, I was a bit disappointed with the overall build quality. The palm rest felt like a cheap plastic and the keyboard didn't have any kind of spill resistant protective film which could cause problems down the line. That's all for today, love and peace to everyone.